over 100 million girls are missing today. These girls were victims of female gendercide, the targeting of females for extermination through infanticide, and most often the aborting of pre-born girls just because they are girls. In April 2012, Live Action investigated abortion clinics nationwide to discover what would happen when the clinic receives a blatant request for a sex-selective abortion of a baby girl. In the footage you are about to see, Live Action went undercover at Planned Parenthood in Austin, Texas. Have a seat here. So, yes, you're pregnant. Okay, that's what I thought, yeah. And so, what are you leaning more towards? I see that you say you want to terminate it with the girls, or you just wanted to continue the pregnancy um, in the meantime, or what? Yeah, I think that would be the um, the plan. The, the uh, abortion covers you up until 23 weeks. Okay. So it's a little over five months. Little. Okay. And usually at five months is usually when they detect, you know, whether or not it's a boy or a girl. I see. So you would be like right. Right. Sometimes there. they can tell four. Uh, I mean, I've seen that happen, but it just depends. Depends. Mm -hmm. Who do you think I should go and just ask for an ultrasound and just not tell them that I'm going to terminate if it's a girl or? I just feel like there's been some judgment for my... Um, I mean, to be honest with you, um, I would probably think so just because... I, I mean, we've had even uh, clinicians, I mean, regular doctors that actually have even told women, you know, you can't go and terminate after your 16 weeks, you know, which is not true, but, um, you know, they... A lot of doctors, you know, they'll place judgment because of the fact that the brain is already developed. Every a lot, you know, a lot, pretty much everything's already developed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so then I could, um, then we could probably. You're, you're thinking like if we did that, we could probably get pregnant again soon after. Oh yeah, that. I've had two abortions and I have four kids. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So, so I mean, again, again yeah. from experience, yeah. No, okay. There's nothing wrong with you pregnant immediately. Okay. Right <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. So, I want to schedule, um, try to schedule an ultrasound with an OB around then, and then I would still mm -hmm. be able to come back here mm -hmm. for a termination no, if it was a girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. And, and again, you know, if you go and see an OBGYN, um, you know, pretty soon and you do an, uh, an ultrasound to see exactly how far along you are, okay. then you can really detect, okay, this is how far along I am, this is how, this is when I need to, need to you know, yeah. uh, this is when I need, uh, when I'll know whether or not it's a boy or girl. Gotcha. Uh, okay. So again, you'll be like 20 weeks, that's five months. Okay. So... Okay. Okay. That is really helpful. Thank you for understanding. You're I, welcome. I was worried that I'm, I would get I'm, judgment for terminating oh, the no. gender, and you've been so. <laughs> no. I'm just trying to, uh, you know, help you as much as possible. To <laughs> so thank you. you, know, you. In the footage you are about to see, live action went undercover at Planned Parenthood in New York City. When confronted with a blatant. Hi. Hi. Are you Randy? I am. We decided, you know, we've had a daughter, we'd really like to have a son, and but um, I found out I was pregnant. It, it looks like it's going to be a girl, another girl. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're like, okay, here we are again. You know, it's not, it's not really, it's not what we're looking for right now. Mm -hmm. You do ab abortions up to how long? Twenty-four weeks. Twenty-four. Uh huh. There's guy somebody that you would recommend mm -hmm. that I could go to just to get the test mm -hmm. so that we know right. um, because then if we find out that it is a girl then we, we could terminate earlier rather than having to wait yeah and so if you you know decide that even if you find out that it's a girl and you decide that that what you would prefer mm -hmm. is to terminate the pregnancy then that's just your decision
I could um, talk to someone about scheduling a termination. Okay, um, you need to do the informed consent first. Can I just ask like a few questions? Or sure, what do you want? How long after can you get pregnant again? Two days. I actually am trying to get pregnant. Mm, okay. I just want to terminate this pregnancy right. because of but no, the gender. Like so I said, because the... Oh, um, don't tell us that. We, do, we don't want to know because one of the things on here is this. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see the word. Yeah, it says that you are not doing it because of uh, race or sex. Oh. Oh, oh I, s I initialed everything I thought no, that's, reading. No, that's fine. That's, that's better because... Okay. Um, there's a so I just shouldn't say that anymore? <coughs> yeah, don't say that. Wait, why? Because state law says we cannot do a termination on somebody just because of race and gender. So one of the things you have to sign is an oh, okay. affidavit that abortion is not being performed on the basis of sex or race. Sex and you have race. to you have okay. to sign you have to put your name in there and say that. That's crazy that they're making a law that saying that I can't terminate and decide what <coughs> gender I want. Yeah. Well, they're telling us that we can't do the per yeah you know, that the doctor cannot do the procedure just determine determine on sex and race. Yeah, okay, so, so I just I mean, shouldn't say it yeah. anymore. You just have to, you just have to put your name in there when you, when when and if you decide you're gonna you know come in and have the procedure. Uh -huh. I mean, you can tell her she she's gonna tell you the same thing. Just don't let it be known. Okay. Yeah. Really good about it. You like you like. Okay. I've worked in the field for 35 years. I've okay. seen everything. <laughs> so you've seen other girls like oh, yeah. based off of gender. Oh yeah. Really? So the doc doctor will be fine about it. Oh yeah. Okay. Hey, she's really, she's really cool. I've worked for her for 12 years now. Okay. She's really cool. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay. When we got married, we decided that, you know, we just wanted to. Okay. So, when I found out that this was a girl, then, yeah. How did you find out it was a girl? It's like it's like a urine test that you can okay. take. So, yeah, because I haven't gotten an ultrasound yet, but I think I think it seems really reliable online. We uh, yeah. we'll see. We can't do your abortion then. We cannot terminate an abortion uh, on sex. We could lose our license. Well, uh, wait, why? It, it that, that's how the law in Arizona is. With the law. That's a law in Arizona. We cannot do no oh, it. It was based on sex. That's really. I just moved here like a week and a half ago. That's so bizarre. Yeah, no, yeah Arizona is just crazy about abortions. Oh, well, that's fine. Well, like, okay, so if I didn't tell the doctor, then it'd be fine, right? Um. I just like won't <laughs> mention it, I guess. I mean, yeah, I just won't mention it. I didn't even tell you, so it's fine. Yeah, I just forget about it. Okay. I just mentioned that to me. Yes, she has the same document saying it's not because it's based on, based on gender and stuff like that. Okay, so I'll just say so it's just not. Just don't say anything about it tomorrow to him. Just don't even mention it to him. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so. so um, I can, I can meet you offline and I'll okay. you tomorrow. To learn more about what you can do to protect our girls, join us at protectourgirls.com.